Well, what is going on, guys? It's me, Farwild, and today we are talking about what well, I am going to be talking about to you guys. The uh, what is not so good about the Halo 5 beta. So, last um, last episode, I uh, talked to you about what I thought was good and what uh, what was definitely a really big step forward in the way of Halo. And now I'm going to be talking about how. Uh, there is sort of a step back, or perhaps they could improve something to do with the game. So, um, there aren't many cons, but I'll go into them in a bit more detail than I did the uh, pros, simply because there's uh, a couple less, so have more time on each. Firstly, Spartan abilities. Um, so, there are a couple of Spartan abilities that are quite underused and um, this might be because of the map, uh, the weapons on the map or the map itself doesn't lend to the type of abilities that uh, type of abilities that function well on that map but I'm talking about ground pound, slide and spartan charge now um, spartan charge I'm gonna be honest I have never hit anyone with it I have never ever ever hit anyone with it now there is a couple of reasons why it's not that good. Firstly, when you're using Spartan Charge, you're defenseless. You have no weapon up because you're sprinting, and the damage is inconsistent. Uh, you hit someone from behind, it's an instant kill, but why not just run up to them and back smack them? And if you hit, run into them, it's a, uh, it knocks them out for a bit, and it gets them one shot. Now it's just sort of the same as melee, in, but instead you're running full belt at them, and you're really, from, in my opinion, not doing enough damage. Uh, also, inconsistency is a big factor with ground pound. It, uh, it is so inconsistent, it's unreal. I remember when I was full shield and the guy completely missed me and it killed me. And on other occasions, more frequently in fact, uh, when the target is weak, you still don't for some re reason kill them even if it's a direct hit. Now, those are some issues that need to be sorted out a little bit. Um, perhaps with the power or something like that I don't know how they're gonna do it but something like that will hopefully be fixed also slide is underused heavily I have the only I know when you use thruster and sprint you sort of do it subconsciously you know what I mean you don't really think about it because your playstyle suit like or my playstyle lends to it a little bit however slide I have to actually think to myself okay I'm going to use slide now in my brain I'm like okay slide um, and it, it just doesn't happen at all I've literally slid like a couple of times and it's not even effectively it's just for the aesthetics you know what I'm saying it's just not even that good um, so I'm just wanna I wanna see him do something with slide or just a, a weapon like a shotgun or something sliding in bang shotgun I wanna see something like that I wanna see something like that um, going on to the maps now maps um, I'm going to be honest, I really do enjoy the maps, however there is a um, couple of things that I a little bit dislike about them. Firstly, Truth, the map that I couldn't get the name of last time, that I was playing on last time, is a little bit abysmal. I do not enjoy it at all, I think it, it, it is due to the sightlines, the sightlines are absolutely unbelievable the spawns of course are terrible in every map to be honest um, that's something that needs to be improved as well but truth it's just a little bit meh you know what I'm saying like you, you try and get in cover but one minute you're getting shot from big tower and blue okay respect that go on to red side of big tower and the, and yet you're still getting shot from somewhere it's just crazy sight lines are absolutely um, crazy on that perhaps add some sort of glass or something like that on uh, pink 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 tower and blue tower it might be just my place now but I just it just doesn't lend itself to me especially with the um the power of the grenades which I'm about to come on to you get grenades spammed a lot in this game and um, and the grenades I think are pretty powerful they're, they're sort of like halo reaches I mean I've died from a one hit from a grenade before it wasn't a plasma, it was a frag, but I think especially the plasmas, I, I think I heard someone say that the plasma, unlike in previous games, does not decrease in power as it spreads out. It, it's just all, um, the power is just in the explosion, if you know what I mean, so the shrapnel coming off it is still as powerful as the actual centre bit. Don't know if that's true, it's probably not, but I'm just saying it. I think the plasma from personal is actually pretty OP. Um, 
Also, uh, the Hydra. Now, the Hydra. I've played on... It's only available on one map, and that's Regret. Regret Slayer is decent. It's, it's a good variant of Truth. It's nice. But, that's the only thing it's available on. On Strongholds, it's not available. It's a Rocket Launcher instead. So you're looking at one game type on one map, the Hydra is being used. And, I think the way that uh, Re Regret is set... Wait, Regret? I think it's regret. The way that regret is, yeah, regret is set out um, does not lend itself to the Hydra at all. Yeah. The amount of walkways and cover underneath things does not lend itself to the Hydra, and there aren't many open zones on it either. To be honest, the top towers have quite easy cover to get to, and also top middle is completely covered, unlike on Truth. Um, and lastly, the thing I'd like to talk about um, that just annoys me a little bit is the party chat slash bug slash fault slash glitch um, it's it's a little bit frustrating I it's not a, it's not a fault as a, as a thing because it actually says press X to go to game chat however if you've been playing Halo 4 like me for a while or any of the any of the games actually um, in the Master Chief Collection you'll know that the kill cams uh, you normally press X to skip or in Halo 4 you press X to respawn so, uh, for the instant respawn so I'm used to smash an X as soon as I die, um, so that triggers the party chat to glitch out and you go into game chat, and then when you try and go back into party chat, because the snapping system doesn't work very well on the Xbox One, it doesn't work that well. Um, hopefully you understand what I'm saying there. I'm not the only one with this issue. I've, it's annoying when you're sitting with playing with your team, and then all of a sudden everyone just goes quiet, and you're like, oh, it's either me or him. Um, uh, I finally, I think I finally uh, got patience in myself now to be able to um, withstand uh, smashing that X button to respawn. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, that is all of all from me. If you've got any problems, issues, advice, help, anything, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, like this video up if you can. If you, especially if you've got a social network, it does help this channel grow exceptionally. Um, as always, thanks to Grim from the Wallpaper, Rickon for the overlay. Like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.